everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over how to create uh, a new public calendar for your Salesforce org. So there's a bunch of different reasons why you'd want to do this, uh, possibly because your company wants to add more options or different calendars for different events. I am going to go to setup and search for calendar. You can go to public calendars and resources. All right now from here, I'm going to click new and I'm gonna create a new public calendar for the all hands meetings for the whole company. So this is when the whole company gets together and there's a huge, I guess, typically like once a month or so, it's like a conference for the whole company to uh, get together and understand the state of the company, different, Departments can also have all hands meetings where, let's say the IT department or the sales department or the legal department, they can have all hands departments, but this is just for the whole company. So I'm gonna hit save. And let's go ahead and activate this as well. So then people can go ahead and use it and see it. So now I'm gonna go back to home, refresh the page. And then we'll go to calendar and hopefully we should be able to see it. Sometimes it does take a little bit for it to update. It doesn't quite look like it has updated yet, but another way that you could create a calendar um, is by coming into the calendar tab and create more calendars here and then select the object and for the calendar and then go through the steps of saving it. But the calendars should be there to help you schedule out things and make sure that the whole company is on the same page. Typically the calendar is going to uh, update for the whole org and let's say you had someone in one time zone and someone in the other, it would transfer those time zones to make sure that it was over the right time for each person. So that's a really nice thing about Salesforce is that it does all the changing of time zones for you. But that is a quick overview of how to create a public calendar in Salesforce. I, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, uh, subscribe if you're feeling generous, check out the courses down below in the description on uh, salesforceupskill.com and I'll catch you guys in the next one.